with all this data now, it really enables you to have very much data-driven conversations, but I said it changes the conversation with management, because now it's not about how many people we need, it's really about what are people doing, how does that impact process, because if the work they're doing is not conducive to an efficient process, it can change the work. There are two things that I think are paramount when you think about really having the individual at the center of any transformation that you're, uh, that you're working on in, in, your, uh, in your company. The first thing is that inclusion is paramount because you have people from a wide variety of diverse backgrounds. So making sure that people can bring their entire whole selves to work is, is critical. I think the other thing is while you put the individual at the center of your efforts, one way to do that is to, to purposefully engage them. Because HR is an enabler to be able to maximize the talent you have here. It should be felt. It should not be seen. It should not be a department. It should not be a training. It should not be an activity that you, you've done. So it is incumbent upon us to ensure that we do that integration and embedding so that we evolve and make our processes and systems more robust and actually be able to have the employees really be able to feel that they are in an environment that sets the conditions for them to be successful.